everybody and welcome back to another video of the Vocheck experience where idiots are still always us always me always always the idiot always will be the idiot proud to be anyway um i hope you don't mind uh in this video uh, i'm doing something a little bit different um as you can see i am outside uh and uh, i'm outside by my house my trailer whatever you want to call it um just because it's something different. Uh, it's rather a nice day. And I figured why not walk around the house and all that stuff, you know, and uh, tell you what I'm gonna tell you in the video, you know, just because, uh, you know, something different. Because I'm an idiot, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, um, <clears throat> this video, I wanna talk about something uh, a little bit more serious rather than, you know, more towards uh, me always being an idiot. You know, you know what I mean? Me being an idiot for you guys. More of a serious type video, so. And uh, and I haven't done one of these uh, health videos in a while. Um, and I thought, well, you know, since I got some news, um, nothing bad, nothing bad medically, really. Um, but, uh, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm doing health wise. Um, and in case you don't already know, um, I've been doing like little health updates every now and again, uh, ever, pretty much ever since, um, I had pancreatitis, uh, a couple of years ago, which, um, was not a fun <laughs> experience. Um, but, uh, but ever since then, like every so often, I've been given little health updates on how I've been, what I'm doing, and, you know, basically how life's been treating me with, uh, you know, in the medical front. And, uh, what you may or may not know is, I know I mentioned it in previous videos, but, uh, I haven't talked about it in quite a while. So, like I said, if, if you know, you know, if you don't know, you don't know, but I'm going to tell you so that you do know. <laughs> Yeah, even though talking serious, I'm still going to be an idiot. Anyways, um, in case you didn't know, uh, I have uh, been living with type 2 diabetes. Um, I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes uh, back in 2015. Um, and... Uh, I've been pretty much uh, been struggling uh, since then, uh, trying to maintain my blood sugar levels and and all that stuff. And and of course, uh, when I first got diagnosed, I will say that uh, for a while there, um, I'll admit I didn't uh, you know really keep track of that as much as I should have. Um, but um, but after a while, you know when it finally starts sinking in that you got this condition and all that good stuff, you know, you start to, you know, take care of it and everything. And, um, <clears throat> but anyways, I'm not going to go through the entire history of my, uh, diabetes diagnosis, but, uh, suffice to say, um, for the longest time, uh, even though, you know, I've been on several different kind of medications, for my diabetes, um, it never really seemed to get it under control that much, if you know what I mean. Um, for the most part, uh, and for the longest time, um, when I was uh, with a previous doctor, uh, they were giving me pills to try to control the diabetes, which was uh, metformin and um, glipside if I'm saying that correctly, uh, to help with that. And um, now me, I don't know if you know this or not too, I have a very, very hard time taking pills. I've always been like that. You know, I try to take a pill. Uh, a lot of times I end up gagging because uh, my gag reflexes and, and stuff. And then I would end up pretty much just throwing up the, the pill and 
generally, you know, whatever, you know, the medication it's in it, you know, really wasn't all that helpful in that sense that, you know, and, and sometimes I would, um, yeah, not, I would like be like, okay, I'm not, I took it yesterday. I'm not going to take it today because I almost threw up my entire dinner. Y you know, it's like, it gets to the point where it's like, you know, you go and then you tell your doctor because they're like, what's the problem? What's the issue? And then you tell them, well, I'm having a hard time taking pills. Well, why can't you take pills? You should be able to take pills. What's the problem? Because trust me, I've had some doctors that did not understand and did not want to understand that issue. And, um, and then, of course, I also had problems with insurance issues where I was at jobs where I didn't have insurance through my work and all that stuff. So there were times that I did not have my medication because of that. And, uh, and of course, I couldn't pay for it out of pocket because some of these medications are freaking expensive, especially diabetes medication. So, uh, but with that, um, uh... <clears throat> my doctor didn't want to hear that either you know um yeah like I said I had some pretty uh bad doctors that were not too you know they they, they didn't want to hear me so um but anyways um and of course that's when I had my pancreatitis issues and all that stuff too but uh that was uh because um the doctors also tried to give me Jardians. And I'm, I'm not, you probably heard of Jardians. It was, you know, heavily promoted on TV and you know, all that stuff. And um, I tried taking that to help along with the uh, metformin and the glipside and all that stuff. And it really, you know, it um, still didn't really help because it was still pills, still having a hard time taking them. And having a doctor like I had that just didn't care that I couldn't take pills and all that stuff. And it was always my fault. You know, the doctor was always saying it was my fault. And, uh, and then, like I said, I had pancreatitis. And then after that, I went to a different doctor and, uh, he told me that basically, um, my, the reason why I had pancreatitis was because I was taking all these medications and he thinks that it was brought on because of the medications that I was on. It was a chemically induced pancreatitis. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I didn't know that could happen, but apparently it can. And, uh, and so, and so this doctor, you know, I told him about, you know, me not being able to take pills and all that stuff. And he kind of understood it. Um, for the first time, he actually understood what I was trying to say. And he, you know, finally was like, okay, we're going to try something a little bit different. And uh, he prescribed to me my very first injectable medication outside of my usual two-week dose of testosterone that uh, I have to take. Uh, which that in itself is a whole other video and um, also that goes in part as to why my voice sounds the way it does but I'm not going to get into that in this video because I've explained part of that in other videos but if you all want me to explain it again about my testosterone issues and my voice issues I can certainly do that because I get a lot of comments on my videos you know why does your voice sound like that why did you you know that tell me that's not your voice and it's like oh yeah kind of is but anyway like I said if you want me to talk more about that in a different video let me know and I will but anyhow uh he decided to put me on an injectable um called Tejo um which is kind of like a form of insulin it's not really insulin but it's kind of like insulin um and um so I started doing that, and um, lo and behold, um, you know, it started getting a little bit better. So I didn't have to take the um, 
the pills anymore. So he took me off of Jardians. He took me off of Metformin and all that stuff. He took me off of. And um, so basically every day, I have to inject myself with Tejeo. And um, so that was that. And then um, I switched jobs and, uh, and all that stuff. And um, ended up uh, getting new insurance and stuff. And the doctor I was at, um, didn't take this insurance, so I had to find another doctor. Plus, it was getting hard to travel uh, where that other doctor was every time I had to go. So I found a doctor that's relatively close. It's only like a pretty much a five minute drive from where I live now. So, so that's good. And uh, I ended up seeing the doctor who I have now, and I will say he is a godsend uh, because. Um, he got my diabetes under even more control. And let me explain this. Um, <clears throat> about a year or so ago, um, I was uh, at work and uh, I would be like, even though I would have, you know, get lots of sleep, I'd still be tired. And I would be like kind of dozing off a little bit at work. And even my boss was like, you know, you can't be falling asleep at work. And, uh, and it turned out, um, I, I went to the doctor and I got tested. It turned out that, um, the Tejeo alone wasn't exactly, uh, helping my diabetes situation. My A1C last year was 11.3. Think about that. 11.3. And I was also getting blood sugar levels, uh, of like, uh, 400, 500. The one time what really got me concerned, uh, was when I checked my blood sugar and it was over 700. And, uh, so, so I talked to the doctor and then he decided to try me on something else. He told me to keep the, using the Tejeo. So he upped that dose and then he put me on something called Ozempic. Now, um, Ozempic, I'm pretty sure you've seen this on TV. Um, they've been advertising it and all this other stuff on TV. Uh, it's a once a week injectable, uh, medication. Uh, and it also helps you lose weight as well. So, um, so I started on that and, um, I've been taking this. Ozempic for almost, uh, I'd say about six, seven months, maybe eight months, almost a year. And um, let me just tell you, since I have been on the Tejeo, with the combination with that and the Ozempic, I, my A1C is so much better now than it was way, even a year ago. That 11.3 has now turned into an A1C of 6.3. And they like you to keep that A1C below 7. So I'm below 7. That's a good thing. My blood sugars are typically running between uh, 110 to 150. Sometimes a little over 200 depending and uh, if you hear a dog barking in the background, I don't know if you can see here, but uh, it's Esri, <laughs> our dog Esri. She's seeing me walking around here about the driveway and she's like, what are you doing out there? You should be in here with me. So, but yeah, um, I went uh, to the doctor just a few days ago and um, I had to get some blood work taken and one of the blood tests was for my A1C and um, found out that, um, that it has significantly dropped. So, so I don't have to take any more pills for my diabetes, just those injectables. And they're so easy to do. They don't hurt when they, when you have to inject yourself. And, you know, and as long as I keep doing that, you know, with the Tejeo every day and the Ozempic once a week, I should be good. I mean, I have been eating stuff like Taco Bell and McDonald's and Burger King. I mean, I've been eating out, you know, and, uh, 
And even with that, uh, my A1C is still good. It's, you know, like I said, it's 6.3. Um, my blood sugars are um, between, like, you know, like I said, like 110 and, like, sometimes a little bit on the 200. And that's usually after I had just eaten something, you know, like Taco Bell or something. But... But usually, you know, it's all good. Uh, now that it's getting warmer out, I've been going for walks around the trailer park neighborhood here, seeing everything that's changed since I lived here as a kid, which, you know, still kind of baffles me that I'm pretty much back to where I started from when I was a kid. Uh, but, but beyond that, you know, my diabetes is doing good. Um, and uh, my A1C is good and my blood sugars are good, so always go with that but uh but i did get some news that my cholesterol is high uh not too too high but it's you know it's a little high and um and so i gotta take another medication to help combat that but uh the doctor did say that that could be a side effect of the testosterone that I take, um, like I said, I get a shot every two weeks of testosterone. Um, so he said that could be an indication as to why it's high. I guess it's a side effect. Who knew? But so he gave me something to countermand that. And he told me that my vitamin D level is kind of low. So I have to take a little bit of vitamin D. And, uh, he also noticed, uh, my kidneys uh apparently uh, i had to take a uh, a urine test um as well and um apparently i'm leaking protein into my urine so i'm not exactly sure what that means but i guess we are going to eventually uh get me set up with a kidney doctor so of course i'll let you all know once that's all said and done with that, uh, once I learned some new information about that front, uh, so I guess, you know, got to take the bad with the good, I guess, so my diabetes is more under control, but now I got some other issues, but then again, I'm going to be 43, uh, in about a month and a half, so I guess it's all part of growing old, your body starts breaking down, and things start falling apart, all that stuff so just like my eyes here um yeah i've only been wearing glasses a little over a year and um according to the two eye exams that i have gotten in the last uh year or so it's my eyes getting bad is not due to the diabetes so that's good and it's not due to my high blood pressure either it's basically because i'm getting old <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah my eyes are going bad because I'm getting old so you gotta love hearing that you know like I said you get old things start changing things start breaking down in your body but uh but yeah that's pretty much the update uh especially when it comes to living with type 2 diabetes so and uh and hopefully I'll never have to deal with that pancreatitis crap again because that was bad last time when I had that. Um, I believe I got videos on that, you know, going back in the channel. So if you want to know about the more about the pancreatitis deal, go check out the uh, uh, my previous videos on that. Um, so... But anyways, um, that's going to about do it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on with me health-wise and all that happy good stuff. And uh, let you know that uh, my diabetes is pretty much under control. And that's a good thing. So, uh, so anybody out there that also has type 2 diabetes and is struggling, just keep, you know going through some medications until you find the right one that will help you just like I did. I went through quite a few medications and um, finally found Tejeo and Ozempic and I've lost some weight too. Um, I have lost about 20 pounds so 
So yay for that. Uh, um, I'd like to lose a little bit of more weight, but uh, uh, but we'll see. Um, maybe I'll lose some weight as I am walking around the, the trailer park. Uh, so hopefully the weather stays nice uh, now that spring is finally here. So we'll see. But anyway, um, like I said, that's going to about do it for this video. So, uh, so as always, uh, if you like this video, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that notification bell so you get notified of future videos. And of course, if you want to support this dumb little channel of mine, um, hit that join button down there and become a member of the Idiot Squad. And uh, that comes with uh, some perks as well. Um, and also, if you want to follow me on all the major social medias, like Facebook and Twitter and all that good stuff, you know, all those links are down below. And, um, uh, if you're looking for some merch, check out the merch store. Um, that link for that is also down below. You never know, just might find something you like. And if you have not done this yet, check out my audio podcast called Idiots Are Us, The Story of Me. Um, the first season is now available and uh, it's available on um, uh, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, and Amazon Music. So, so if you have not listened to that, uh, go give that a listen and uh, subscribe to that as well. Um, I'm going to be start working on season two of that podcast here at some point soon. Um, not exactly sure when, but pretty soon. And, um, of course I'll keep you updated on that. But, uh, but anyway, um, Easter is pretty much a few days away. So, uh, so let's just say, I hope you all have a happy Easter. Uh, and, uh, I hope it's, uh, you know, a warm, uh, Easter. I know here they're calling for some crappy temperatures for Easter Sunday here where I'm at, but, uh, hopefully that's not the case where you are, where you're watching this. And, uh, speaking of that, I hope you have a good day, good week, good night, uh, good month, whatever the case may be, because you never know. Uh, I hope you're all good and, um, and I will see you all in the next one. So, uh, with that, bye for now.